Hello, this is Superintendent Talor Slosser. I know that some of you all have received the book called The Dot uh, that you're going to have a lot of fun with this summer. So I'm going to take the opportunity to read the book The Dot to you. So as you go through your book, and we're going to start right here on the very first page. Which Our class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty, and you can see Vashti is very concerned and won't even look at the paper. So we've got words on one side and pictures on the other, and you can see that the student is talking to his teacher. So Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear. In a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. And you can see that the teacher's looking at the paper and her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good, strong jab. There. You can see it's got its ink pen or his pencil. And then in your book, you'll see that the teacher's looking at the paper and the teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. Vashti thought for a moment, well, maybe I can't draw, but I can sign my name. And you can see Vashti She's signing her name. The next week, when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. It was a little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. All framed in swirly gold. And you can see, there's the frame, and there is her signature right above the teacher's desk. <clears throat> I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. Vashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with the red. She discovered that she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept experimenting lots of little dots to make many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti splashed her colors over a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. Now that is a big piece of paper. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. You're really a great artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? Not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. You can see the little boy talking to Vashti, saying, I can't even draw a straight line. Sounded a lot like Vashti did when he first, she first started. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle, and then she said, Please sign it. And you can see that Vashti was talking to the little boy, and she asked him to sign his paper. Now, what I want to encourage each of you all to do after you read the book and you look at the pictures, I want you to take your canvas and your watercolors, and we want you to draw us your artwork. And then we want you to sign your name and make sure you tag Marion County Public Schools and we're going to post your artwork just like Vashti's did with her teacher across social media. So again, we hope that you enjoy your summer reading project sponsored by Title I. We hope you enjoy your book, The Dot. 
We hope that you'll use your watercolors to paint a lot of different pictures this summer. And again, put it in your bag, post it on social media, and have a great summer. Thank you.